Right, it's Thursday, the 31st of October 2013. I'm the artist taxi driver. This, my friends, is the BBC Sucks of Cox News. It's Halloween. Ha All Hallows Eve. All Hallows Eve. We've just been listening to the radio, and generally you're not allowed to comment, comment on the trial that is going on between Rebecca Brooks, Andy Coulson, and the Crown, Her Majesty. They've been taken to court on charges relating to a conspiracy over the hacking of dead children's parents' phones, amongst others. Generally not allowed to comment. You're allowed to talk about things in general, what's happening in the day. And today, they've released an email that Rebecca loved. Loved. Rebecca Brooks loved Andy Coulson. And they're up in court... Four of them, Glenn Mulcair, Felbeck, and there's a couple of them, I don't even remember their name. They've already admitted that they hacked the children's phone, their parents of the dead children's phone. I mean, can you imagine? I wouldn't even know what it'd be like to... I mean, even the trauma of being being someone who who, who had lost a child. Can you imagine that? The, the, the being in the house, what that, what that would even mean with all the family around and... Your head in bits, and 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 then the police turn up under, under false pretense. Get your phone number and pass it, and and then they start printing things. The hacking of children. Dead, that, that's what you're like. What the hell is that? You know the NSA hacking phones and things like that. That's that. That's all completely legal. Do that to anyone. Is it legal? Is what they what they've done is criminal. But Rebecca and Andy, the the the, the guy said today, like I don't want to embarrass them. It's not about shaming it. It's not about exposing, looking into their private life. It's about acknowledging that how deep their relationship was. Because this is what we've got. What we've got. What we've got is Great British slapstick. What we've got is a charade, because they're not the people who should be in court. Obviously, they've been charged with criminal offences, so they, you could say they've got to be in court. But, but, we, we know what the right-wing press, Rupert Murdoch and these fucking scumbags at Sky TV, the Daily Mail, the Daily Express, and their rhetoric and their shit that, that comes out of their mouths... On a daily basis. But in the conspiracy. Is the police. And the government. And these my friends. These. Are the people. The real people. That should be in court. Because these newspapers. And these. These disgusting despicable. That go and pray. That, 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 that want a profit that will pay money to listen to, to, to someone crying. Why would they want to listen to the telephones of dead children? But why? The most incredible invasion in, in, in the most... This, this, you cannot think of anything more sickening. And David Cameron... Boris Johnson, Michael Gove, Jeremy Hunt, Theresa May, all, the, all of these, 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 George Osborne. What, you're saying they didn't know? Boris Johnson never knew? Cast your mind back. Think about it in your nut what was happening a couple of years ago. Because when The Guardian first came out with it, they were they. they they, 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 nah, 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 nah. They was like, it was a full on fucking shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't say anything. They closed ranks. The establishment closed ranks. Every single fucking com police commissioner, Yates of the Yard, who's gone out to fucking Bahrain, uh, uh, gassing children of Bahrain with, with, uh, and, and, and electric sticks and, and, and jailing them. Every single fucking police commissioner. All these politicians, all these fucking people in government, in power, unlike, even though it's a criminal act, what the, what the, the, the four that have admitted to it, 
even though it's a criminal act, they, 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 they've got it, they, you know, these people, these police and these government, they swear oaths. They swear oaths to uphold the law. But they, I <laughs> know, to uphold the fucking law. Because Cameron, what, you're saying they didn't know? What, Boris Johnson didn't know? He was the head of the fucking police. What, he didn't know about Glenn Mulcair's notebook? What, no one told him? What, Rupert Murdoch? These fuckers knew. David Cameron knew. He didn't have a quiet word. He had a quiet word with him. He's saying, fucking find out. Cover it up. Because what happens? See, that's the sickening thing about, about a conspiracy. There's the act and the perpetrators of the act, but the people who have the power to cover it up, the people that covered up Hillsborough, the people that covered up the murder of Daniel Morgan, the people that, that look, look at John Charles de Menes. They said, the people on the tube said, there's no way those, they never said stop. The police just shot him dead. He never got up. Even the coroner, in the coroner, the judge said that the police lied. But what happened then was what was happening then. They murdered him. It was manslaughter. Well, they killed him. Full stop. 7-7 seven, seven had just happened. And you can imagine that lots of things were, you know, there was, it, it, I'm not saying it's an accident. They murdered him, but they covered it up. You know, and, and, they, and, and the government's involved. The, the fucking media's involved. And the police involved. They, they, the, the Sun, the Sun newspaper come out straight after he was shot and found a woman, said, he's a rapist. You're like, you what? He's just been, he's just been shot dead? And you want to discredit him? To cover it up? Can you imagine? What kind of fucking... But that's what the government does. That's their job. That's what they do. Because they don't want to be found out. The police, they don't want to be found out because they're involved in this. They are up to their fucking necks in it. And they should be standing. Fucking Cameron, Boris Johnson, Theresa May, Gove, Jeremy Hunt. They should be standing in a court with all the fucking police commissioners. Fucking Yates. They should all be standing in a court. Because ultimately, these people are involved in it. You know, they're fucking... Jeremy Hunt, Tuesday, found illegal to shut down an A&E. Wednesday, stands up in Parliament, says, I'm going to shut more A&Es. Thursday, they're fucking... The bit in North London. He don't give a fuck. He's, fuck. he's, got, he's got bigger people. The shadow government. You get your fucking self back out there, Hunt. And you start telling people, we will be shutting. We will be carrying on this controlled demolition of the NHS. Because private health care is taking over. Thursday, the BBC and the Office of National Statistics come out with this report. What? What? He said they lost in court. Thursday, Wednesday, he said, now you've got it. Suddenly this report appears when so something has to be done about A&E. Big decisions have to be made in inverted commas. What does that? What? Ian Duncan Smith. They didn't even address whether it's against their human rights to, to, to force people to work under threat of sanction. That's okay. The advertising standard boards didn't even say the racist fans were racist. Just that the facts were wrong. What kind of fucking... These people are involved. This government is illegal. This government is involved in fucking a conspiracy to move public money into private pockets through the privatisation of the NHS, privatisation of welfare, privatisation of probation, privatisation of the Royal Mail... Privatisation of fucking our war, gas, electric, fucking everything. This government is fucking illegal. This government should be arrested. This parliament should be arrested. This fucking our police, our judiciary, everything is fucking corrupt, bankrupt. But what you get, what you get is the great British slapstick, the charade of Rebecca's love for Andy.
That, my friends, is the truth. <laughs>